80% of the clients that I work with have the exact same problem that stops them from progressing on their self-forgiveness journey. They have no idea where to start. They want to forgive themselves and move on, but they watch YouTube video after YouTube video to temporarily numb the pain. But this doesn't solve the root cause of the problem. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the exact same steps that Oprah Winfrey used for self-forgiveness. I'm gonna talk about the pros. You have to keep your own self Full. The cons. You'd say, stop your crying, stop your crying. And whether or not you should follow in her footsteps. And a quick disclaimer here, what I'm about to share with you might shock you. If you aren't familiar with Oprah Winfrey, she's an American talk show host, television producer, actress, author, and philanthropist. She is best known for her talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, which ran for 25 years from 1986 to 2011. She is often referred to as the queen of all media and was the richest African-American of the 20th century and was once the world's only black billionaire. But so that this all makes complete sense, I need to take you back to January 29th in 1954. Oprah Winfrey, or originally known as Oprah Gale, was born on January 29th, 1954 in Mississippi. She was raised by her grandmother and mother. Once Oprah was born, Venita, Oprah's mother, knew that her life would never be the same again and that raising a child would be an enormous challenge given that she was in a state of poverty. Growing up, Oprah was a bright, curious child that loved to explore the world around her. She spent her days playing in the forest near her grandparents' farm where she was raised after her mother moved north to find work. But despite the love and support of Oprah's family, at the age of just nine years old, Oprah's whole world was turned upside down when she was sexually abused by a family member. This was someone she trusted and loved unconditionally. The abuse persisted for several long and grueling years, leaving deep emotional wounds that left her feeling guilty and deeply ashamed. The traumatic experience was further complicated when she found herself pregnant at the tender age of 14. Her child was born prematurely and passed away in infancy. Understandably so, the years of abuse had a devastating impact on Oprah Winfrey's life, causing her to really struggle to come to terms with what had happened. She isolated herself from her support systems, friends and family, finding it almost impossible to trust anyone and the pain and trauma she experienced consumed her leaving her feeling trapped and suffocated as if there was no escape. So how did she overcome this traumatic event? How did this abused young lady turn her life around and turn into one of the most successful and wealthiest people on the planet? Well, despite all the adversity she faced, Oprah was determined to not let her past define her. She channeled her pain and emotions into written word, pouring out her raw and unedited feelings onto a page in an emotional release. The act of writing was a form of therapy, a way to confront her demons and start the process of self-forgiveness. Each word became a healing balm for her wounded soul. As she wrote, she began to peel back the layers of hurt, pain and suffering. Through her writing, she found a way to give voice to the trauma that consumed her, to make sense of the senseless, and most importantly, to reclaim her power and identity. The written word became her sanctuary, a safe haven where she could be truly vulnerable and honest with herself, and ultimately find the courage to rise above her past and become the woman she was meant to be. It was a powerful tool that helped her to transcend her pain and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. Now maybe you're sat there as you're already journaling, as you're already writing, but this isn't working for you. If that sounds familiar, then let let me know in the comment section. And if that does sound familiar, then let me share some additional tools with you that helped Oprah when it comes to the process of self-forgiveness. Working with therapists and coaches also played a crucial role in Oprah's personal development journey, as speaking to a professional helped her to understand and process her emotions, and to work through the trauma that she had experienced. This process of self-reflection and introspection allowed Oprah to confront her inner demons, and it also helped her to understand the significant impact the abuse had had on her. Oprah also talks fondly about finding a support system of friends, family and loved ones who supported her through the journey, as being able to talk to someone who understands and supports you can be incredibly helpful in the process of self-forgiveness. Oprah's openness and honesty about her past and
and the abuse she faced likely helped her to acknowledge and confront her past. Because being open and honest with oneself is a vital part of the self-forgiveness process. The journey towards self-forgiveness is a lifelong process and Oprah drew on various techniques and tools to help her navigate through it. But ultimately, it was her courage and determination that helped her to rise above her past and become the woman she was meant to be. Now, I promised you some pros and cons and over the years, I have come to learn that there are many pros to starting your self-forgiveness journey and only one worrying and significant con. Self-forgiveness can be a painful and uncomfortable journey, but it's a journey worth undertaking as it can lead to enormous personal growth and development. The pain and discomfort that is experienced along the way is a small price to pay for the freedom and peace that comes with it. Oprah Winfrey turned her life around and you can do the same too. So if self-forgiveness is a journey that you need to start, then you need to go and watch this video next as it's going to tell you 10 of the most common mistakes that so many people make when it comes to self-forgiveness. So go and watch it now to prevent further suffering.